What is going on? Welcome to today's tutorial where you're going to find out how to manipulate your app's screen displays. By which I mean if you want to make the bottom bar disappear, you can just hit a button. If you want to make the status bar disappear, same thing. If you want to go full screen, boom. And if you want to go to regular screen, of course, you just do this and there you go. So if you want to learn how to do this, all you got to do is watch this tutorial until the very end. Okay, let's just get straight into it. No point in explaining the UI. It's essentially just four buttons and that's about it. Obviously right now you can press all the buttons all you want. Nothing's gonna happen because I wanna show you how to implement that. But before I do that, if you want to implement a full screen display from the beginning of the app, for example, when you have a splash screen, you want the app to start out already in a full screen and then it goes to a regular screen. So basically one of the ways that you could do that would be to place the code here within the void main and then make it behave how you'd want. So before we actually put in the code, the first thing that you need to do is import the services.dart file because that's where this class right here, system chrome, is at. And in this case, what you want to do is say system chrome dot set enabled system UI overlays. That's what you want. And then here it always expects a list. However, if you want the full screen, you just do an empty list like this with the squared brackets. And then all I gotta do is close it. And if I do hot reload, it won't work. So I gotta restart the app like so. And as you can see, it is now full screen. And if you wanted to get back to default, you just do system UI overlay dot values. However, this is already a list. So you gotta remove the squared brackets. And now if I restart the app again, you know, it's back to default. So that's essentially how you do it to ensure that your app begins in a full screen mode. And something important, I'm going to show you with the control Q option that this returns a future void. That's the type that it returns. And this is going to be very relevant in just a few seconds. So I'm just going to remove this and I'm going to restart the app just so it restarts in default mode. And now I'm going to go back to home.dart. And the first thing I'm going to do here is of course, import the services.dart file. And now I'm going to go inside the build method, okay, right before the return. And here I'm going to use the future void type that I just mentioned. And I'm going to create a variable called screen display. Obviously, you can name it whatever you want. And this is it. It's going to be empty. And why am I doing this? Well, let me just comment this out for a second. Say system chrome dot set enabled system UI overlays. And just to show you a different one, I'm going to do system UI overlay dot bottom. This will remove the, the status bar right here. I'm going to hit hot reload and as you can see, it's gone. So essentially you can just place this here as well and it will also affect the screen display. So having that in mind, let me just copy this. We're going to have this variable right here and it's going to be empty exactly because, for example, let's go to the status bar button and on the on press, what we're going to do is say screen display equals this value right here. And now I'm going to restart the app. And sometimes when you restart the app and hot reload, it doesn't really work like, like in this case. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop the main dot dart process and just run it again. And here it is it's opening back up and it's going to be showing the status bar in the bottom bar. And now I'm going to hit the button right here, this one, the green one, and it's, and this status bar is going to disappear like so. So the way we achieve that is essentially this is empty. And when we press, we actually give this variable a value. And it's as if you're almost like when you press the button, it's almost as if you're getting this, copying it and pasting it here. So let's go ahead and implement the logic for the other buttons. So I already showed you how to remove the status bar. Now I'm going to show you how to remove the bottom bar. And it's super similar. You just literally put in the same code, except instead of bottom, you do top. And I'm going to hit save and I'm just going to go ahead and tap this button right here and boom, the bottom bar disappeared. So I already showed you the other two. So let me just do it really quick. This one is going to be to go full screen. And if you still remember going full screen, you just leave the list empty like so. And to return to the regular screen, you just come over here, you remove the square brackets and you just say system UI overlay dot values because as you can see values is of type list so that's why you don't need the square brackets now i'm going to hit save again and all the buttons should work now just fine so this one I already used i'm going to make the status bar disappear instead 
right like so and i don't know if you noticed but when the bottom button isn't there if you tap that tap doesn't actually go to the buttons it's just to make it appear again that's just how androids work and then you can make the status bar disappear we can go full screen and we can go back to regular screen we can go back to full screen we can just do whatever we want it's fine so if you wanted to know how to manipulate the screen display modes to whatever your liking is that's exactly how you can do it i hope this video was helpful for you if it was please don't forget to leave me a like and of course if you want to keep on learning about flutter you can just hit that subscribe button as always thank you so much for watching this is flutter mentor and out